Hi there, and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue here on YouTube. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be talking about creating buses in Pro Tools for beginners. And so I've already gone through, I've gain staged all of my tracks, and I have checked the phase on my drum tracks. I've just made sure everything is ready for me to start mixing. And so now I'm going to start adding buses. But first I'm going to go to my setup. I'm going to go to IO, and then I'm going to hit Option Click here. And all these bus one, bus two, all this stuff here, I don't need any of that. I'm just gonna deselect my DAW because that's my outputs that I've created. And I'm gonna just delete all that. And so I'm gonna hit OK. What we can do is we wanna select all of our actual tracks that we're going to be creating buses for. So I just hit option click and then I'm gonna take off my DAW because that's my master bus. And I'm gonna go shift option and I'm gonna click on the first track and DAW and I'm gonna hit create new track. And so as you can see, this is a stereo track. It's an auxiliary input or a bus. And then I'm gonna go mix bus. And I'm just gonna hit enter and that's gonna create it. And it went at the end of my session. I'm gonna bring it back over here. And so that's my mix bus. I'm then gonna go shift command N and I'm going to make a stereo master fader and I'm just gonna call that mix VCA and then I'm just gonna double click these click right below the name and I'm gonna change the color to blue and then I'm gonna go back to setup back to IO and I'm gonna go to my default output bus and instead of DAW I'm gonna change it to stereo and I'm gonna go mix bus and then I'm gonna do that too for mono as well because I'm gonna create some mono buses and I'm gonna just hit mix bus so now whenever I create a bus the default output is gonna be my mix bus. We wanna send all of our tracks through our mix bus because I'm gonna be putting compressors, maybe some EQ, maybe some tape saturation. I'm gonna be running my whole song through my mix bus and I want all that processing on the track. So next thing I'm gonna create is I'm gonna create my drum bus. And so I'm gonna go from my kick drum to my room mics. I'm gonna go shift option click and I'm going to hit new track and this is going to be a stereo track. I'm just going to call it drum bus and enter and then boom, it's right there. I'm just going to double click, change the color. And so all my drum tracks are the same. And now I have a bus for my drums. And so again, I'm going to be putting EQ, compression and all that jazz on there as well. So I have a mono bass track here. I'm going to be duplicating that. I'm going to create a bus for that, for all those duplicates, because I'm going to do a distortion track. I'm going to do a low end track. I just have my bass highlighted. I'm going to go create new track. And I'm going to go command arrow to the left. You can go arrow left, arrow right. This is on a Mac. Then I'm going to call it bass bus. And I'm just going to hit create. And so now I have my audio track going to a bass bus. And then I'm going to be duplicating that audio track like I said. So there's our bass bus. And then from there, these are all guitars here. I'm going to highlight all of my guitars. And I'm going to go shift option click. I'm going to go new track. And I'm going to change this back to stereo because I want this to be a stereo guitar bus. It's just going to be called EGT bus. And I'll just make that green. And then from there, I'm going to make my vocal bus. Now I have one main vocal track. There's some backing tracks as well. I'll make a separate bus for that. But I'm just going to go uh, to the output. I'm going to go new track. I'm going to make this a mono track. I'm going to go vocal bus hit enter, just make these the same color. And then from there, I'm gonna go from my sends. Now these are buses as well. This is where I'm gonna create some another bus. I'm gonna create a vocal crush bus because I'm gonna send that to a bus and compress the snot out of my vocal. So, and then I'm gonna blend it in. That's parallel compression and that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna make that pre-fader where if I turn this vocal track up or down, it won't affect the volume sending to my bus or sending to my vocal crush bus. I want that to stay the same. So I'm gonna make this a different color. Try to just keep this somewhat organized. So there's that. It's pre-fader, so I've got a vocal crush bus. I'm also just gonna turn this down and I'll start messing with it once I get rolling in my mix. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to send my vocal crush and my vocal bus to my vocal fader. Now, I know this probably seems kind of confusing, but it's a mono track. This is going to be the way I turn up or down my vocal. And uh, so I've got, I'm going to blend in the actual 
crush bus, like where I'm compressing my uh, parallel, compressing my vocal very hard. And so both of those are going to go to my vocal fader and I'm going to turn the up or down here. That's going to be my vocal chain and I'm going to have a compressor on my uh, crush bus. And then from there, we're going to go and we're going to make these background vocals. We're going to go shift option, click new track. And we're going to call it BGVs. And I'm going to make sure right now it's on mono. I'm going to go command arrow to the left. I'm going to make it stereo aux. And so there you go. I'm going to make a couple other buses. I'm going to be making reverbs here. I'll go uh, plate because I'm going to have a plate. I'm going to do a hall. And then I'm going to do echo and delay. Because I can have almost as many buses as I want. So I'm just going to create these buses here. And then from there, okay, all these have the, the mix bus output. That's very important. And so these are good to go. I'm, I will start adding some plugins there. And we're going to keep my uh, vocal sends, we're going to keep them post fader. So whatever track they are on, the volume of these faders here is going to affect what's going to the reverbs. And we want that for reverbs. And so the other thing I'm going to create. Well, actually, I'm going to change this color and make it something unique for my reverbs. And then the next thing I'm going to do, now there's a couple ways you can do parallel compression with your drum bus or your drum tracks. And you can either go through, highlight these tracks right here, and then create a bus that way. And then you can kind of level match or do whatever. I'm just going to take the send from my drum bus and I'm going to make... Uh, drum crush and it's going to be a stereo track and then and this is also going to be pre fader and I'm just going to leave it at zero and I'm going to bring this down so when I'm ready I can start sending my drum signal to another bus and then I can either make I can put saturation or compress the snot out of it all of that so that's how you make buses and pro tools please hit the like and subscribe button if you got any value out of this video i'm on the way to a thousand subscribers also if you need any help building your own home studio or just learning how to use it there's a link down below to sign up for a free zoom call with me and we can just talk about whatever it is you're going through so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one